Ran. I just got my new DYU FF500 e-bike. I love this e-bike because it's a lightweight design and it feels so great to ride. One of the reasons I was so interested in getting an e-bike was because my house is really near all these different hills and to ever get home in life, I need to be riding up a hill if I want a bike. Anytime I go anywhere around my neighborhood, I always have to cross a traffic light. In so many spots, there is a hill waiting for me to get to my destination. I must go over the hill to get to the next spot I want to go to. My DYU FF500 is up for this challenge. It has a 500 watt motor that has a maximum speed of 20 miles an hour. Well, going up this hill, I only have it in pedal assist too. It comes with three pedal assists, but even this very, very steep hill, I only needed to use it in level two. That motor of 500 watts is amazing. I could even go to 20 miles an hour in pedal assist too, which I was so surprised. Typically going up a hill like this, other e-bikes will show a loss of power and a loss of speed. But my DYU FF500 has full power, even on a grade like this. I'm very confident, even with the most challenging of driveways. A lot of times I wanna go places and I don't necessarily wanna ride my e-bike from my driveway all the way to the park I wanna ride in. The DYU FF500 is a folding bike as well. Let me show you how that works. Here I am with the bike and to unfold it, I just pull this lever and I push it together. Check that out. I wanna show that to you so you understand how easy that is to fold the bike. The research and development department of DYU has made this bike to fold like this. It's still a very sturdy bike. It's not flimsy, it's solid, yet it folds. And after folding it, it's easy to put in the rear compartment of a car, an SUV, and then off you can go to any place you want to ride. Where I live, there's some beautiful parks, so it's great to just take it along and get to where I wanna go and then ride there out in the open. And here I am at one of my beautiful parks near my house that's just a little further, so it was great to throw it in the car to take it here. This park's paths are all just in nature, so the DYU FF500 fat tires are the perfect kind of tires to adapt to this nature land before me. The treads on them can adapt to a variety of different road conditions and different weather. And because of that, it feels so great to really get out in nature with this bike without having any distractions like cars in the way. One of my favorite features of the DYU FF500 folding bike is getting it to places like this to ride. This is one of the most glorious days in my area because it's been raining and there's so many beautiful spring flowers and green, green grass rising at this time of year. A lot of the path is flat so I can use the bike in pedal mode and get some exercise. But if I get tired, I can put it into the easy pedal assist one and it can take off to give me a break. I love the flexibility. There are so many paths in this wonderland over here here that it's so great that I can explore with confidence. I know I can go out of my range, which isn't very far if I was just on a regular bike without any kind of pedal assist. I might get tired and not be able to get back home, but not with DYU. This DYU FF500 has a range of over 40 miles at a maximum speed of 20 miles an hour. That's because it has a 14 AH capacity battery. It has a great front shock absorbing system, which means as I go over different surfaces, the bike is not gonna make me feel uncomfortable or it's gonna bump me off or anything is gonna make it so I can't handle these different terrains with that front shock absorbing system. And even on this rough surface, I'm able to hit the brakes and stop with confidence because sometimes I just wanna look around at the scenery. The brakes, of course, are front and rear. They're mechanical disc brakes and they're easy just to use the levers on your handlebars for great control. They're very responsive and safe. And the brakes have an IP54 protected coating against dust and water. All the cables are so high quality, they're not gonna crack and break with age. They're durable. And that's what you need covering your brake system. You don't want anything to go wrong. There's also a rear rack, so I could have brought a picnic. So for me, I could have had 210 extra pounds on that back rack. The seat is really comfortable. It has airbags in that seat, so it really fits your body well, however your body is built. It feels so comfortable when I'm riding the bike. I could ride for hours and hours and not 
have fatigue from my seat, even in the bumpiest terrain like this park. One of my favorite features of the DYU FF500 foldable bike is getting to days like this where I can ride through pastures of beauty and jump off my bike to take a look around and smell the roses or in this case, all the different trees in bloom and grasses in bloom all around me. This is a magnificent day, and if it wasn't for the handiness and the power of this bike, I would not be here today to enjoy these sights. I have the freedom with my DYU FF500 to enjoy these moments like never before. I'm out in fresh air, breathing all that air. It feels so good all by myself in nature. I want more of those moments in my life. I'm thrilled that DYU has brought me a bike that's easy to handle to get me to places like this. Another one of my favorite places to go for the beauty is the beach in Santa Barbara, California. So I took my bike there because I want to get some pretty shots of the bike. It had just been raining and the beach was just blustery that day, but it was great to look out over the peak with my bike and see the waves crashing. And I want to show you some of the details and how pretty the DYU FF500 is designed. The company DYU is an intelligent sports technology company and they focus on e-bikes. The brand DYU focuses on the design concept of an intelligent design. It's designed its bike for all the things you want in an e-bike. So it's rideable for all the destinations and all the roadways and all the ground that you'd want to ride it without having it be too heavy. This bike has a total weight of 68 pounds and it has a maximum load of 330 pounds. It's a beautiful day. It's about 65 degrees with this DYU FF500 folding bike, but it's got an operating temperature range of 14 degrees snow all the way up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit for your coldest or your warmest days. This is the model DYU FF500. The battery is down the center and it's a 18650 lithium ion battery. The battery capacity is 14 AH and the battery rated voltage is 48 volts. And to charge your battery the first time, it's gonna take about seven to eight hours and it's a normal household 110 volt. It's a two prong plug. The battery is removable, so you can charge it in the house and take it back out to the bike if you want to, or you can charge it right on the bike. And the pedals have a lot of traction for all kinds of shoes. You're gonna have a non-slip ride. Now let me show you a few different angles of the bike. It's really a beautiful bike and it's just right for me. I'm about 120 pounds riding that bike and I can handle this bike. It's made for a woman, but guys could like it too because the design is not too feminine nor too masculine. It's a very sleek, and sporty design. I like that. I want to show you a few more features on the handlebars to show you how you work the handlebars. Those kind of details are really great to see in a video so you don't have to read the directions. Let me just show you how it all works now. This is the handlebar setup. These are the brakes. This is the right brake and that's the left brake. The right brake controls the front tire. The left brake controls the back tire. To turn the bike on, there's three buttons here. There's an up button, there's a down button, and there's a middle button with an M on it. Hold the M button down for three seconds to get the display to go on. The display is really easy to read. I see I turned it off in pedal assist one. I'm pressing the down arrow to get to pedal assist zero. If I wanted to go up, I just press the up arrow to pedal assist one, two, and pedal assist three the highest level of pedal assist. Since the bike is stationary, I'm just pointing some things out. I'm gonna put that pedal assist down to zero. The display and the speed is really large. You can always know what speed you're going. My bike is set for miles per hour. If I want to change it to kilometers, I would hit both the up and down at the same time, hold it, and then it goes into manual, and I'm gonna press the down arrow, and that's gonna change it to kilometers per hour. Oh, I don't want that. I went at miles per hour, so I pressed it one more time. To get this display setting brightness, I'm pressing the up and the down at the same time. And then I'm gonna press the up. It's gonna go to the lowest, the medium, and the highest. I'm gonna leave it at the highest right there. By pressing the M, I can roll through every feature on the menu just by pressing M. That's time I've been having the bike on. That's the odometer, the number of miles on this bike. Right now it only has eight. The trip, how many miles on this trip? Well, I haven't started the trip yet, so it's zero. The volume, this will speak to me, and the current speed. Rotations per minute is also a feature. To turn the headlight on, there's a light switch at the left handle. When the power is on, 
I press the up button and I hold it for three seconds and that's gonna switch the headlight on and off to get the bike into walking mode. You press the down switch for three seconds. The bike is stopped now for display, so I'm not gonna show you how I do this, but I would just hold that down for three seconds and it goes to just under four miles an hour, which is a walking speed. To get out of walking mode, just hit the brakes or press that button one more time. To change your shifts and put it into shifting mode, I'd be holding the up arrow and the down arrow down at the same time. And if I hold both the up and down at the same time while it's in motion, mode one is going to correspond to a speed of 9 miles an hour, mode two, 15 miles an hour, and mode three, 20 miles an hour. That's one way to do it. The easiest way, though, is just to shift the PAS and pedal at the same time. The pedal assist will get you there faster for the same effect. By turning the power off by holding the middle button for three seconds, now you're in sports mode. The bike is off and you can just ride this bike like you would any other bike that is not an electric bike. By turning the bike on, you can use the throttle just by pressing this to get the bike to go. You're gonna twist this down or up and it'll take off. And when the power's on and while you're pedaling, the motor also provides power for an easier and more efficient ride just by hitting the pedal assist. Either by pressing the throttle down once or pressing the up or down on the arrows. By pressing the brakes, you will disable the pedal assist or the throttle. DYU also comes with a Shimano gear system. By downshifting all the way low to the highest gear, you can decide how much your legs are working. Downshifting low makes it easier to pedal. By upshifting makes it harder to pedal. I was shifting while my bike was stable and not going anywhere just to show you. When you're riding the bike, the gears will engage so you can get all the way to the lowest and the highest gear. They only work when you're pedaling forward. My DYU FF500 arrived right to my door in this box. It was packaged really well so it wouldn't get damaged during shipping. I'm going to show you what it looks like inside the box. It came with a toolbox and this is great because these are all the things you need to put it together and here's some of the other things you can see a lot of packaging material and in no time at all you can have your DYU bike at the beach with a sea breeze and crashing waves or at a park I wish you a really great bike ride on your DYU FF 500 click the link below to get yours. I'm Rebecca Brand. Thanks for watching this video. I hope to go bike riding with you someday soon. Just come to Santa Barbara. I hope you subscribe to my channel and click the link to get notified of my next video. And let's keep making great recipes in life was a recipe for the most glorious outside experience riding my DYU FF500 e-bike. Bye now.